Hello my lovely Aquarians, I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes and I'm here to do your May 2020 quickie love reading. Keep in mind this is a general reading, it will not apply to every single one of you, I wish I could do it but I can't. If you'd like me to pick up on your personal energy, please email me, my email is in the box below. I'll gladly give you all the information you need on personals, it's on the community tab as well as my website. And don't forget to check me out on Patreon. These will not be extended over on Patreon, but my, my regular general love readings or any general reading, well, normally my general love readings, are extended over there. I don't believe I've done yours yet. Maybe I have. I can't remember. I don't think I have. Um, but normally my readings run anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half long. Those ones are the extended ones, and this is intended to be shorter. I wanted them to be 10 to 15 minutes long, but they're looking at around 20 to 30 minutes because I don't shut up. Um, I think the shortest one I had is like 25 minutes or 28 minutes. Anyways, whatever. They're shorter than my normal ones. They're basically a check-in. They can be the same storyline as the other general reading or a completely different one. It all depends. Um, keep in mind I'm dealing with energy, so if I say it's you, it could be them. It all depends on where you stand in the situation, who I'm talking to, whether I'm talking to Aquarius or a cross-watcher. If it's not your story, throw it out. Who doesn't, you know, not the... If it's not your story, then maybe next time kind of thing. Um, just so you know, warning, warning, warning. I use bad language. Most of you know that, but if you're new to this channel and you don't like it and you take offense to naughty words, then um, I'm not the reader for you. There are plenty of other readers. You know, there's the door. See you later. Bye. I really hope you stay because this could be for you. So anyways, I feel with you guys, um, I kind of feel like I was taken advantage like taking a, not really fully taken advantage of, but like given a run for my money like um I was led to believe one thing it's kind of similar to Capricorn's energy but I don't I feel it being different like a different scenario um I mean you could be dealing with a Capricorn it could be similar but change is approaching so the overall energy is violet angel breaking dawn so I feel like a lot of you have been fearing change or just not really welcoming it in like maybe not I don't, fear is kind of a strong word, I guess. So some of you fear it. Some of you just, you know, are kind of stuck in your ways and you're used to these repetitive, these cycles that you've been on. And it's almost like um, the unknown is kind of scary. So I'm just going to stay stuck in this or complacent. Um, I feel like change is needed, but not necessarily wanted for someone. Um, the overall energy is a bright new beginning, like getting out of a stuck, stagnant situation, um, an unhealthy situation, whether that means leaving a connection, a commitment that you're in for some of you, or just letting go of a love interest because it's just not getting off the ground. You're not seeing any progress and it's like a new day is dawning. You know, I'm going to change up my MO and do something different, move forward, maybe put myself out there, explore my options. I just feel a change of brewing because there is an ending that either needs to happen or that is coming, whether you want it to happen or not. Um, I do feel, I feel like for most of you, the situation is going to end even though you don't want it to, like it's going to be a forced thing. So the other person might make this decision. Um, but it could be, you know, you could be making this choice even though you don't want to. It's almost like it's your last resort. You're resorting to this and you know that you have to do it even though you don't want to kind of thing. Um, yeah, because I feel like you've been clung to an ideal, an expectation, um, the potential of of what this connection could be or or someone's potential. But you're not, you weren't really looking at what was going on, um, how this person was treating you, you know, um, there, I feel like there was red flags in the situation, like mi uh, mini bursts of ghosting. So it's almost like they would talk to you and things would be going great for maybe a day or two. And then all of a sudden they disappear and then they'd be back and then they disappear and then they'd be back. And it's almost like you only talk to this person on their terms. Um, and if you're committed to this person and you're not single and this isn't a love interest of yours, I almost feel like you feel your spouse or your partner slipping slipping away from you. Um, when you guys have alone time and you're just kind of chilling on the couch watching TV or whatever, I feel like both of you or your person's always like their heads down looking at their phone. They're not even paying attention to the movie you're watching. I feel like they don't cuddle you. They don't kiss you. They don't show the affection that you want them to because they're, you know, busy with something else with other people, their friends, or potentially 
you know, new new suitors. I almost feel like somebody's lining somebody else up without the other person knowing. But I do feel like you kind of know. If you're in that situation, you just don't want to believe it. You're kind of turning a blind eye. But I feel like change is approaching whether you want it or not. So the overall energy in this specific situation is sewer mermaid. Your sensuality is beautiful. And I feel like because of this situation and the fact that your love interest or your current partner is not showing you the attention or the affection that they used to or that you would like, because some of you, this person has never really, you've never had sex with them. You've it, it, like, there wasn't much of a closeness. It was just, you know, you have a crush on them, you have feelings for them. You wanted that, but I feel like there was always some kind of blockage. But if you're committed to this person, they just kind of went dry on you. They, I feel like some of you were saying self deprecating things to yourself, like questioning it. Like, am I ugly? Am I fat? Am I, you know what's wrong with me for for so and so to to not love me anymore or to be acting this way or to not want me if you guys are not together um but it's not you i feel like this person's misguided and i feel like they are entertaining other options other people other things and it is making you feel pretty shitty because they should be focused on you i just i feel like a lot of you, if this is resonating, are, are questioning if you did enough, if you should have done more, like, what are you doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. This has to do with the other person. So if this person is legit saying, it's not you, it's me, believe them, because it is. There's something um, kind of fucked up in this situation, and I don't even feel like it's you. Unless I'm talking to a cross watcher, but take it where it fits. If you don't fit, throw it the fuck out. So we have the Empress Reverse. She can be the other woman sometimes. I do feel like for some of you, not all of you, there is a third party energy here like entertaining options and the third party could be work, friends, family, whatever. Um, I do feel some of you, there is a mother figure that does not like you. So for those of you who are partnered or married to this person who's kind of distant, it's because you're, um, whoever you're with they're losing interest in you because their mother or a motherly figure, someone who is like a mother to them, does not like you for for whatever reason. I feel like it's kind of jealousy in a sense because you take up, like you're taking her baby boy or baby girl. Like it's almost, it's something like that. Um, they're jealous of the time you have with this person. So they're pulling away because their mom or whoever is talking shit about you. Um, for others of you, whether this is just your love interest or your current partner, I feel like they have a child with somebody else and baby mama drama is here. And it's almost like I have an inclination that they kind of, they might be wanting to go back to what they once had, like to ha recapture their family. So I feel like that would be for people who are not partnered with this person. They're just you know, you're interested in them, you have feelings for them. Either way, I feel like your confidence is taking a hit. Uh, I don't feel like you're showing that though. You're not, you know, this person doesn't know that. This is something that's internal that you're keeping to yourself. You're not telling your friends or anything. It's just, you're acting as though you're fine, that you, you know, that you still got it going on and you do. Um, but internally you are questioning a few things for whoever that is for. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed, which is not feeling very stable. This is not wanting, um, not wanting to be single. You want to either be with this person or stay with this person, but you're losing faith in it because you, you're just feeling that this connection is not as stable as it used to be. Um, this person is not giving you the attention that you deserve. Um, I just feel like I don't feel lovable. I don't feel sexy around this person because of how they're treating me is how I feel. And then we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse, which is making a decision, but this is also having clarity. It's figuring things out. Um, I feel like you've been trying different things. Some of you have gotten your hair done, just changing your look, skin care. Um, some of you have been dieting, eating healthier, you know, exercising, doing doing things to um, enhance your appearance as well as, you know, make yourself healthier, which is, it's a win-win overall. And I feel like you are looking good and you are feeling good in that way because I almost feel like I look the best that I ever have in my whole life kind of thing. Like you're really rocking it, but your person isn't seeing it um, or they're seeing it, but they're not expressing 
they're basically not doting on you. They're not giving you the attention that you deserve. And I feel like it, it's, it is upsetting. It's almost like I'm doing all this work and, you know, I really wish that you would compliment me kind of thing. So that's definitely for partner people. And I feel like your partner is being a jackass. I'm just going to say, um, but this is having clarity on things not working out. So I kind of feel like something came to light. And it's been a long time coming because we have the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. And he is the slowest moving knight in the deck. And I just, I feel like for those of you who are not partnered with this person, you're finding out that they are either with somebody currently or their attention is elsewhere. And that is why it's taking fucking forever. There's some information that came, that came out um, about this not moving forward. And I feel like it is upsetting to you. And this could also be that revenge body. So if you have an ex who treated you like this, and maybe that's why this energy is coming up, because for some of you, it could be that. This is almost like revenge body, like, haha, you know, you took forever to come here. It might have taken me a while to get my shit together, but, you know, um, the song Scrubs is playing in my head by TLC. You're just owning shit, Aquarius. We have the Emperor... This is Taurus and Aries energy to me. He is take charge. Um, we have the Knight of Cups, which is an emotional offer. I feel like you are trying to take charge of the situation now because this person has just been taken so long and you're losing faith in it. You know, It's like, this isn't stable. I want to be in a connection with you. So I feel like some of this, for some of you, this clarity with the Seven of Cups reversed is that you want to be in a commitment and you're going to tell your love interest because you just need to know. It's like you're taking too fucking long. So I feel like you're going to take the bull by the horns and, you know, um, tell somebody how you feel just so that you know, do I have to move on or not? Like, I'm, I'm sick and tired of waiting. Should I move on or not? Are you going to ever tell me how, how you feel? You could be dealing with an Aries or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have Virgo here. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, you want to know. It's like, are we going to move this shit forward? Are you going to put a little pep in your step? Or are we done? Um, so I do feel like communication is coming in. I feel like this is not face-to-face -face communication, though. I feel like this is, like, texting or emailing. Um, so it's not as personal because it's not face-to-face. -face, but some of you could have just found out information online as well that this person is you know, um, um, talking up other people, you know, hitting on people in bars and, and whatever, like their attention is on other options and not you. And you're gaining this clarity. And I feel like it was at, if that's the case, it's after you took a stand and expressed your feelings. And you're just, I feel like some of you are feeling foolish for doing that. And you're wondering why does this person, why are they not interested in me? Like what the fuck? I thought this was going somewhere. Can I get more on your sensuality is beautiful, please, for the overall energy for Aquarius? So someone's losing faith that this will ever come together because they found out something. Some of you could be dealing with somebody who is older than you as well. Or you're older than them. I mean, with the age thing, it just it could be vice versa. All of it could be. Yeah, you're, you're forced to end something. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. So I feel like you know that you need to grow and transform your life, basically. This is the ultimatum. Um, it's like, I found this out. I f I, I'm not feeling wanted by you, and I'm done. So that's taking charge of the situation. It's, it's almost like pulling your cup back and offering it to someone else or acting like you are because your person seems to be doing that. So, blockages in this connection. We have Ghost of the Pumpkin Patch. Count your blessings. I feel like this is a blessing in disguise, if I'm going to be honest. And I feel like some of you, most of you in this situation, are not viewing it that way. I feel like some of you might be coming to that realization now. But when it first happened, it was like, it stung so much. It's like, why did this person leave me? Why did this person cheat on me? Why did they make me feel like, you know that we were working on things or that we were going to be together, or that we would grow and have a family and, you know, all those dreams that you talk about when you're in love with somebody. I feel like somebody was telling you all this shit and building up a fantasy in your head 
and it didn't happen. It all came to an end because you found out they were entertaining other options or they were just being an asshole and not giving you, you know, the time and attention that you deserve, especially if you are partnered with them. But even as a love interest, I feel like this person would talk to you for a day or two and then ghost you. It's like kind of lulls of communication. It was never, they just were not giving you the attention, basically. So this is saying, don't look at it in a negative way. Count your blessings, because this is a blessing in disguise. This person wasn't right for you. It's necessary for you to move on because there's somebody better suited for you, which is awesome. We have the Eight of Wands Reverse. That's blocks and communication. Like I said, I feel that ghosting energy because I saw it in the up right here. It's moving really quick, and now it's not. So this is the ending. This is like we're not even talking anymore. Um, I do feel like you have a lot to say to this person, um, whether you dated them or not, but they just won't hear it. Um, you don't even know if they're getting your messages, and I feel like it's extremely painful. We have the Three of Swords here. Whatever they did, they broke your heart. You found something out. I almost feel like they were giving attention to other people, like I said, other options, whether you're partnered with this person or not, and you found out about it. Some of you have tried to use magic on this person, and I just heard karmic. And if it's not you using magic, they could have used magic to try to get someone's attention. And then we have the Ace of Wands in the upright. This is all about passion, but there's no passion left anymore. This is not wanting to move forward anymore. Um, so this ending is a blessing in disguise, basically. Even though it was painful... And it's not what you wanted because you, you know, you had a lot of love for this person or you just, your expectations were shot to shit. Um, I feel like it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been like what they said. They were selling you a dream basically. Um, and they were taking forever because I feel like this person is pretty promiscuous. Like they act like they're stable and secure and you know, that they're not only confident, but they, they date properly, you know, like the right way, but this person doesn't. I feel like this is definitely going to be an opportunity that is going to pass you by even though you didn't want it to. Yeah, it stresses you out with the Eight of Swords. Um, some of you, whether you were partnered with this person or interested in them, I feel like the reason why this is not moving forward is because you're, whoever you're dealing with is actually in jail. They got arrested. I just heard drugs, so it could be for drug possession, whether, you know, it's Mary Jane or whatever. Um, but I don't feel like they'll be in there for very long, either three to six months, which, I mean, that's long enough. But I feel like this person, for some of you, not all of you, you will find this out and you haven't, I feel like you wouldn't know it yet. Some of you might, but regardless of that, um... I feel like the reason why they stopped talking to you and this hasn't moved forward is because they did get arrested and you just don't know about it because you're not dating them. Um, that's like a 2% of you. That's a small message. But I feel like it's still a blessing in disguise because while they're gone, um, you'll be able to move forward with something new. Yeah, releasing the burdens. I just feel like this whole situation was stressful. It was, you know, it bogged you down. You were putting a lot of time, energy, and effort into making this connection work because you just, that's what you wanted. You were holding on to it. But I feel like this person was holding back. They were taking your attention and all the, the wonderful things that you were saying to them and, uh, like, just taking everything from you. And they weren't giving anything back. So, for example, if this is just somebody that you were interested in and you wanted to date them, I feel like, you know, you made many offers to them and you were telling them, you know, that they were handsome or beautiful or this or that, but they would never say that about you. Or if you messaged them, hey, how's your day? You know, how was work? How was this? How was that? I feel like they would tell you, but they wouldn't ask you. So it was extremely one-sided because there's a lack of attention, like, do you even like me? So I feel like someone did take a stand. And I feel like the information you found out, the clarity that you got, has you up in your head. Because even though you know the truth, to an extent, about what this person's all about, whether you're partnered with them or not, I feel like you know 
that you need to move on, that you need to let them go, but part of you doesn't want to. It's like, what if I miss an opportunity? What if I make the wrong choice? What if they're my soulmate? This person's not meant to stay with you um, I or be with you at all. I just, I feel like, I feel like someone's barking up the wrong tree. I'm just going to say it that way because it, it's not going to be pleasant if you two come together. I don't feel like you would come together because this person will come up with every excuse under the sun. It's almost like they don't they don't love you. Um, they're going to tell you that you that well, ultimately you guys are not like this person is not your type or you're not their type or whatever, but they almost lead you to believe that you are because, you know, yeah, they want to have a good time with you. They want to experience you because you are beautiful, but they're going to make you feel ugly because they're not going to fucking tell you that or treat you with the respect that you deserve. It's necessary for you to, to make sure that this person does treat you with respect or that you show yourself enough respect and, and tell them to kick rocks. Ascending, transcending obstacles, transcending this obstacle. It's like, should I stay or should I go? I know I need to end it. I know I need to end it, but I feel like I don't want to, you know, that's just what I said. Um, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So I feel like this is a new phase in your life. This part, addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. So this person is restraining themselves, for one, is stressing you out, which is creating blockages. The whole blockage here is the fact that this person, it just keeps hurting you. They don't want to move forward, and they keep creating these blocks in communication and forward movement uh, because they're entertaining other people, other options. They're doing something else. Their attention is elsewhere. So... Potential outcome in this situation within a month's time is winged seer. You see clearly clairvoyance. I feel like you're finally seeing this. You're waking up to it. Even though you, you got the truth, you, I feel like you saw this. You've known about this for a while. Whatever, you know, whatever details there are in your situation, whether it's, you know, they're partnered with someone, there's an ex involved, there's just other options, many options, and they want to keep them open kind of thing, or they're just treating you that way. I feel like there have been red flags, red flags throughout this whole situation, and it's not that your intuition wasn't telling you or that you weren't understanding it. It's that you were refusing to look at it. You were turning a blind eye to it because of the passion and emotion you had for this person. We have the lovers, Gemini energy, and the upright. It's needing to make a decision between two. I feel like there's a new love interest coming up for you once this is fully let go of. Um, I got that for Capricorn, too, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I feel like this is also finding out that this person was entertaining other options, that they have a choice, and they weren't choosing you. Um, we have the High Priestess. This is all about your intuition, which we have two cards about your intuition now. So this is, you know, I feel like your intuition has been kicked up into high gear and spirits like you need to see this. You really need to look at it. I know you don't want to, but take those ro rose colored glasses off right now, Aquarius, because you're not seeing your full potential and you're not seeing that there's zero potential within this connection. And if you're currently partnered with this person, this is you know, your gut screaming at you that they're not being faithful. And even if they're not out legit, like physically cheating, I feel like they're emotionally cheating. Like in a sense where they're pulling their time, energy, and attention away from you and giving it to other females or other males or just other people in a romantic way and in a friendly way. So they're basically pulling away from you emotionally. Um, and that's not fair to you. And I feel like you're you're fully seeing this, and I feel like some of you are going to catch them red-handed red in something. Eight of Pentacles, this is wanting to work on things, but in this deck, they're kind of taking a break. They're not fully working on it. They're reflecting on the work that they've already done. So this is you, I feel like this is you finally listening to your intuition and seeing things that, like, seeing things for what they are and realizing what's going on here and that you that you should end this that you need to walk away from this person or this commitment um because i feel like your person whether you're committed to them or just interested is not seeing the potential in this connection like you are i feel like you're putting more work in than they are it's almost like you do all the work and you both can sit back and reflect on it that's not fair then we have the ten of cups reversed yeah it's not a happy family it's not your emotional fulfillment. This is not what you were 
hoping for. And I almost feel like after all the work that I've put in, after everything that we've been through, um, especially if you guys are committed, it, it all resorts to this. Why aren't we happy? Why can't we be happy? And then if it's just somebody that you're interested in, that you have feels for, that you want to be with, it's like, why can't you see my potential? You know, why can't you have that happy, you know, life relationship commitment with me? You know, what's so wrong with me? I thought you thought I was attractive. I thought you thought I was a good cook. I thought you thought this, that, whatever. Um, they basically sold you a dream. Then we have the Hermit Virgo energy, which is all about going within, listening to your intuition. So this is all about your intuition guiding you. So I feel like for those Aquarians out there who have not always been spiritual, I feel like you're awakening to that now. And you are actually getting in touch with, with yourself, your higher self, and your guides, angels, and ancestors more than you ever did before. Especially if you didn't normally practice spiritual practices. I feel like you're learning. Um and for those of you who you know have been spiritual and practicing uh, meditation and um whether it's your psychic abilities or any abilities that you have because i do feel like there are aquarians out there who do have some psychic abilities here you could you saw this coming um but i feel like you just didn't want didn't want to listen to yourself so you weren't listening to yourself up until this point, but I feel like you are now. We have the Six of Cups. This is soulmate energy, but this is also children, nostalgia, memories. I feel like you were just hanging on to an idea, an ideal. Um, some of you could have children with this person or there's children involved. So it's like, how do we make this work if we're not together for the children? Like... How will they be affected? Will they be affected? Um, I feel like some of you, even if there aren't children involved, you want children. And you thought that you could have that happy family with this, with your love interest or with whoever you're married to or committed to. But I just feel like somebody's being selfish and they wouldn't give that to you. Um, and then there's probably one of you out there because I'm getting this message. I'm going to say it. It's not for everyone, though. There is an Aquarius out there that this is either happening to them or they did it to somebody else kind of thing. I feel like someone, it, this is ending. The situation is ending. This is for someone who's coupled with this person. It's not just a love interest. You're actually committed to them, whether you're married or not. Um, I feel like you want children and your partner doesn't. So the one who's pulling away from you energetically, physically, whatever, um, your partner I feel like you're pregnant and you guys are splitting up and I feel like you haven't even told your person yet that you're pregnant yeah page of cups reverse you haven't told them that you're pregnant I feel like you have mixed emotions about it because you feel like they'll be pissed off at you um and you don't know if they'll work with you yeah I feel like there's tactless words there's there's a <sighs> There's a pretty cruel conversation coming up if you're pregnant. Don't listen to that person because, you know, it takes two. Yeah, they will run away, though. So if you if you know that you're pregnant, you haven't told your person, you're having all these problems with them, um, or hell, even if it is your love interest and it was like a one-night stand thing and you got knocked up by them, it's their responsibility whether they want that child or not, um, you know, Take them to court. Do what you got to do. If you're married, it'll be easier through the divorce process. You know, you can, you can line up child support and all that shit. But if you're not married to this person or it was just kind of a one night stand or you guys were fucking around when you thought it was going to be more, but this person was just out, you know, treating everyone like an option, doing whatever, um, it will be more difficult. But, you know, be honest with the person and do what you got to do. That's definitely not for everyone. But some of you, there are already children involved. Some of you found out you're pregnant in, this, in the middle of the situation. Um, while others of you, this is just, you know, what you've wanted for a long time. You've possibly known this person since you were a child. Um, I just, I feel like it's ending and you saw this coming a while ago. And your person is hauling ass out of here. It's almost like this person just promises you 
They 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 keep creating these blockages so that nothing will move forward. But I need time. I need time. Yes, I love you. I need time. No, they fucking don't. It's a karmic relationship. That's what we have right here. There's a lesson within this situation, and some of part of that lesson might have to do with children. Just gonna say. But that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. The more you interact with me, the more apt I'm to pick up on your energy. Hit me up for a personal reading. My email is in the box below. I'll gladly give you all the information you need on that. Um, and I love reading for you guys. So, excuse me, don't forget to go check out my storefront and purchase some merchandise so that you can be part of, officially be part of the Willow Vibe tribe. Um, and you know, enter the contest, especially if you're buying merch. The sooner the better because of shipping and all that shit with this Rona crap um, going on. So once you get your whatever you order, it can be anything, you know, take a picture of how, of, of, of you wearing it, doing something funny, silly, relaxing, meditating, whatever. I want to see those pictures of you guys. I want to interact with you. I want to, you know, see what you do when you're, when you're willow vibing, you know? <laughs> I love you guys. I wish you the best and I will be talking to you soon because I'm pretty sure I have not done your overall reading yet. But I love you a long time. Bye.